Okay, live sound system, to boil it down, here's a template for live sound system to set up the gain structure and everything. If you're using uh, power amplifiers, going to passive speakers, once your speakers are matched more or less to your, to your amplifiers, turn the amplifiers up to 75%, right? Past halfway, but less than full, somewhere around there. On some amps, you can turn it up right up to full. They're designed for that if the amplifiers match the speakers, okay? So your amplifiers are at 75%. Now you take your master fader, turn that up to zero dB or unity gain, take the channel, route it into left and right to make sure it goes through the left and right master output, increase the channel fader to plus five dB, increase the gain very slowly until you start to hear mild feedback, very mild feedback. If you hear something ring and it goes away, don't increase the gain anymore, but put your hand on the microphone to induce the feedback. There's physical reasons why this is happening, but let's just say that it's gonna happen. Once you hear something go you can find that frequency with, a, with an app. I personally use Frequency, C, Frequency, S-E-E. -E. I use that and it shows me what frequency is actually, um, is actually lighting up. I go to my 31 band EQ, I take that frequency down a few dB until it goes away. Not all the way down, anywhere between three and six decibels, whatever works for that system. Then I turn the gain up. If I hear another feedback frequency, maybe two or three, if you move the microphone around, you actually hear more than one because of the, 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 the uh, spatial relationship between the speaker and the microphone. Okay, and then you continue to do this. Pull out the frequencies that are feeding back. Once I'm up around halfway on my trim and there's no feedback, I'm satisfied with the feedback or the ring out. Next, I will take lower middle frequencies or low frequencies or any frequency that sounds unnatural with my voice and a recording, a studio recording of a voice, male voice, female voice, a uh, saxophone, snare drum, a piece of music. I'll put, I'll put all of those together through a sound system and I'll shape the EQ. I'll start taking out frequencies that don't belong there rather than add frequencies that I feel should be there. Because when you do subtractive EQ, you actually unmask some of the frequencies you weren't hearing in the first place. So it doesn't make sense to turn up stuff you weren't hearing. It makes sense to get rid of stuff you're hearing too much of. Now, when a singer goes up to the microphone, and I treat all the microphones now, let's say I have four vocal microphones, right, on a stage, I'm gonna put them all at around zero, I'm gonna wait for people to do a sound check, and then I'm gonna adjust around zero. The lead singer, or maybe even the quietest singer, I can now boost up as much as plus five without worrying about feedback. 